In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to create a QR code in Chrome that someone can scan with their phone and then be taken to any website you chose. And it's actually a lot easier than you might think. All you need to do is go to the page you want the QR code to go to. So if you want someone to scan the QR code and then be taken to this Wikipedia page about gnomes for some reason, then you would just go to this Wikipedia page about gnomes here. And then you would come up to the three dots in the top right hand corner of Chrome and click up here. And then in this menu that appears, come down to near the bottom here to where it says cast, save and share. And then in this smaller menu that appears next to it, you'll see create QR code. So all you really need to do is click create QR code here. And this will immediately create a QR code that leads to this page. It's a bit of a strange looking QR code. You do have a dinosaur in the middle and some dots and things. It doesn't look quite like a typical QR code, but it is certainly a QR code that anyone could now scan and be taken to this website. And if you wanted to make it go to a different website, you actually have the link here. So this is currently the link that this QR code would go to. But if you wanted to make it go to a different page or a different website or whatever you wanted it to go to, you could type a different URL in here to make it go there. But really, it would just be easier to open a new tab and go to a different page and then click create QR code. So you don't really need to do anything with this here. But now you have your QR code. But you're probably not done quite yet. This is a fully functioning QR code that anyone could scan, but you probably don't just want to have it floating above Chrome here. You probably want to put it somewhere or print it out somewhere or do something with it like that. And to do that, you pretty much have two different options. One option is to click the copy button here. So you can click the copy button like that. And now the QR code is copied. So now you can really just paste it anywhere that you could paste an image. So you could create a Google Doc or a Word Doc or start composing a new email or something. And then you can go ahead and paste that image in there. So for this example, we might quickly create a new Google Doc. So we have a new Google Doc in here. We might just get rid of that message. And then you would come in here and right click or two finger click on a trackpad and click paste in the menu that appears. And now you'll have your QR code in here. So you could type other text around it and you can resize it and move it around a bit if you want to. You can do anything else you want with it. But now you have your QR code right here. The other option would be if we quickly go back to this page and bring up the QR code again. So go to cast, save and share and create QR code. When we're back in this menu, the other option would be to just click the download button here. And then that will download the QR code to your downloads folder on your computer. So you can open up your files app. And this will probably look different on different computers. It depends what computer you have. But hopefully you've used your files app before and you know how to find the downloads folder. And now inside the downloads folder, you should have a PNG of your QR code. So you can open this up and see you've got your QR code right here. And now you can send this to people, you can save it places, you can put it into anything you want. And you can just go ahead and put your QR code wherever you need it to be. And now you're done. That's how you can create a QR code in Chrome. There are obviously other ways where you can go to specific online tools and things and paste in a URL and generate QR codes that way. But this feature in Chrome just makes it really easy to create a QR code in just a few clicks without having to use any third party tools. But that's all there is to this video. So hopefully you found it helpful and we'll see you in the next one.